What's up everybody? Sean Hatzel here, co-founder of Beyond 40. Inside this video, I'm going to share how you can build muscle and burn fat at the same time following something that I call volume depletion training. So this is video number two in my video series from 75 Hard that I just completed. All kinds of people asking about my training split and how I was able to gain muscle and get lean at the same time and I wanted to share it with you. So the last video was lactic acid training, which I do on Mondays, or growth hormone training. And if you go back, that video should be labeled Growth Hormone Training so you can watch it on our channel and understand how it works. It's a little bit higher reps, lower rest periods. Then on Wednesdays, I do volume depletion training, which I want to share with you today. So as soon as I'm done talking about how it works, I'm going to switch the camera over here and I'm going to do some tricep pushdowns and show you exactly how it works. So how does volume depletion training work and what does volume depletion mean? It just means that we're going to do a high volume of reps in a very short period of time. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna rapidly deplete your muscle and your liver tissue of glycogen. This is a catalyst to helping your body access stored fat cells as a fuel source. Hold on, my wife's calling in and I'm gonna send her to voicemail. She doesn't like that, but it happens. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do 10 to 15 reps per body part. And we're gonna rest one minute and we're going to do this for about eight sets. So by the time you do the math on this rep range, you're going to be somewhere around 100 reps. And you should be able to complete a body part in five to seven minutes, just like my last video on the lactic acid training or the growth hormone training. So it really should not only take you about no more than 10 minutes per body part. Now, I'm experienced and I've been at this for over 20 years. So you might want to lower this to like five or six sets if you're just getting started or you don't have a lot of experience. So let's look at how it works right now. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn this camera right here. And I hope you guys can see me good. Yes, it looks like you can. So I'm gonna grab the rope here. I'm gonna select a weight. I've already warmed up, right? And I'm gonna select a weight that I can do 15 reps at a medium intensity. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do these 15 reps on tricep pushdowns, okay? And we're gonna rest exactly one minute, and I'm probably not, obviously I'm not gonna rest in this video one minute, otherwise you'd be waiting. And then we're gonna do a total of eight sets, and that's gonna land us somewhere around 100 reps. So, doing a tricep pushdown or any type of pushdown, your elbows are the anchor point, okay? So you just wanna push down from here, and your elbows should not be drifting out or in too much. They need to be a pivot point right here. So right here is your pivot point, and it's down and up, down and up, okay? Now we're gonna exhale down, we're gonna inhale up, we're gonna go down fast, we're gonna come up slow. So on the lifting portion of the movement, we exhale a little quicker, then we inhale slowly to get that eccentric movement or the negative portion. Remember, lifting weights does not produce results. Lifting and lowering weights is what produces the results. It's actually the negative portion of the movement that can stimulate more muscle fiber. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and knock it out. One, I'm gonna exhale. Two, notice my elbow in the same spot. Three, four, five. Tempo is medium, down hard. Six, seven, exhale. Nine, All right. 10, it's starting to get heavy. 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15, boom. Okay, now on the clock right away, one minute rest. That was about an intensity six or seven right there. And so what I'm gonna do now is when I rest that minute, that weight started getting heavy around 15 reps. So I believe personally that I could do one more set at this, rep, uh, this weight, but we're gonna do a reverse pyramid on this. So as the weights start getting heavier and the sets start getting heavier because you're only resting a minute between sets, you're gonna start lowering the weights because otherwise you're not gonna be able to hit that 10 to 15 rep mark. Remember in the first workout we did 20 reps, okay, to stimulate lactic. Now we're doing volume depletion. And then on Fridays I'm gonna show you how I do something called hypertrophy training. This is lower reps, heavier weight to build more muscle. So rest that minute. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna knock out some more, right? So I'd go ahead and I would do 10 to 15 more reps. Rest a minute, and I'm gonna rinse and repeat the same thing in every set. My heart rate's gonna get higher and higher, my muscles are gonna start burning more and more, and I'm gonna have to adjust the weight downward, 
And then when you start hitting like your last couple sets, if you want to cut down on the rest to increase intensity, you can feel free to do that. So hopefully this gives you a snapshot of how volume depletion training works. Remember, before I go here, volume depletion, 10 to 15 reps per body part. Rest one minute, go five to eight sets. Five sets if you're a beginner, eight sets if you're more advanced, and then as you progress through that workout, you want to maintain that 10 to 15 rep range. And if the intensity scale is one to 10, you want to be somewhere between seven and 10 on the intensity scale. So you might have to lower the weight as you get towards sets four, five, six, seven, and eight. So hopefully you got something out of this. If you did, share it, like it. If you're new and you're watching this, I'll share all kinds of this stuff. Subscribe to the Beyond 40 channel. I'm always grateful for people taking time out of their busy day to check out my stuff. So. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching and keep going strong.